Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we delved deeper into uh, the dark place as Alan remembered it. Um, as we were on a talk show um, in between with Mr. Door. And from then on we kind of made our way outside um, and found Max's interpretation, I guess, of Alex Casey. Where we got a flashlight, a gun... And we we're trying to make our way to the, uh, what is it, Carnell Street Station? Something like that. And uh, areas are kind of filled with shadows that may or may not be hiding um, real people, fake people, shadow people. Um, and it's actually pretty tense. All right, here we go. This guy might be real. I'm going to walk away. Because he's not going away. That's why I think he's real. Or real. You know what I mean. So up this way, there's something. What is that? Aim your flashlight at the spiral. I did. Worlds of Lamp? Words of lamp, words of lamp, words of There was something hidden here. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? I don't know what that means. Words of power can be used to make Wake stronger. You can assign them in the writer's room. I mean, I would, but you're gonna fucking attack me. Um, I'm gonna he just head back here real quick. Wait. No. Alright. Words of power, what is this? Words of fix? So, words of lamp one. Restores 50 health for each second when using flashlight boost on hostile enemies. Provides 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boost. Provides 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Um, I don't know how much 50 health is, but I guess this is probably my best, my favorite one. Because a quarter of a chance to regain a flashlight charge, I mean... 50 to 75. Okay. Television, dark place, radio. The rain tried to wash away the sins of. Oh, right. Okay, okay. That's when we saw the billboard. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Nope. Don't know what you're talking about. So, is there anything else here? Alan. Uh, Alan Wake is not here. If you'd like to m take a message... Okay, before we go that way, I heard humming last time here. Oh. Empty. Just like my cold heart. That's not scary at all. Hello. Oh. Hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Tim Breaker. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. 
but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. And who's the mystery man? Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. <laughs> you do that. Man, this, uh... Nazarino's Pizza, this, uh... They must be, like, bigger than Starbucks. They deliver anywhere, even in the dark place. Which is uh, pretty damn good. So what do we got here? So talk show studio. Okay, so that's where I am. So what are these question marks? Oh, that's cool. It even marks the, the lights. The light shift active. And active. That's pretty cool. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this map a lot. Let's see what's been added here. So the angel lamp. The janitor seemed to know me, but he got the name wrong. Had I written him into existence? He said I'd left something in the basement. A tool to get out. I found the lamp in a show box. You mean a shoe box? Uh, in the basement. A tool to push the darkness away. In the light, a new reality emerged, carved out from the darkness. On the security screens, I saw myself in the writer's room, writing. Mad. But it was not what I was writing now. A vision from the past I had forgotten. So, lamp in the shoebox open up, opens up the way, writer's journey. The Dark Place, New York. Ah. The Dark Place had taken the shape of New York City. I was from New York. I wrote crime books set there for years. I was affecting... It was affecting my surroundings? Or I was affecting my surroundings? I guess I was affecting. A mysterious caller on the payphone. I knew him from somewhere. Couldn't remember from where. He told me I should go to Caldera Street Station. That's what it was. He will call again. Subway Station. I have a ticket. Well, good thing you have a ticket. Oh, navigating New York. I had to find my way to the subway station. The lamp would make it emerge. I met Casey. He was in this story. This was his city. He was talking about a manuscript. It had to be my writing. Casey was killed by the Dark Presence. I had assumed his role. Every writer is a detective finding the story. So manuscript, find a light for the lamp. So it looks like we need two lamp, uh, two lights. Right? Because one to open the subway and then one to actually light what's underneath. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. Remember, I was at the morgue. I was about to give evidence to the FBI. Door, door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? Who, where, why, motive, why me? Are we getting too close? The facts. Missing time, no memory. Until now. Have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted, aliens, door, UFOs, polyhedrons. Dreams. Me, but not me. Others I know, yet they are different. The red-headed woman. Okay, you keep doing you. See you around, Alan. See you around. Buddy. Um, no. So there looks like there's something here. Like yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like there's something here. Maybe. Potentially. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Can I open this door? Oh, fuck. It just never ends. I don't know where to go. But another the city was a monster poised to tear into you the second you let your guard down you thought you had it tamed that you knew what the hell you were doing your last mistake unless you got lucky and you didn't deserve to get lucky you blinked at the wrong time let your mind wander and the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone. It was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. Mm hmm. Night Springs coming soon. I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. I mean, if you say so. Can I get up there? No, I cannot. So, did that close that off? Point of interest. No. I don't know. I have no idea. Man, look how far up we are. Alright, let's see where that door leads. He does it. God, there's even a further up. Where the fuck am I? Construction site. Oh no. I'm over here. Yeah, this that's not gonna help me. Wait, how good? How can this be... This doesn't make sense. How can I be street level if I just kept on going up? Is that the subway? So it loops. That makes... That makes some sense. In a way. What, you don't get it? Makes perfect sense to me. Don't write. Don't do it. Oh, it's the wiper blades. I thought it was like someone like breathing heavily. I should really, really run. Maybe run faster? Alright, 
I don't know if I've checked everything here, but I'm kind of ready to move on. platform were closed. I had a ticket. Thanks, Alan. Hey there. Please pay the fare. Helps us run better service. The door was locked. The old tickets, huh? Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Hmm. I wonder if I could take this. No. Okay. Something lingered here. I have forgotten memory. An echo. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Where is it supposed to go? I don't know where it's supposed to go. Something was here. A I vision about to reveal itself. I, I know, Alan. I needed I, to look at it from the right angle. I, I know. Believe me, I know. Oh. Want to shine a light through it? The background is supposed to, like, shimmer, I guess. I mean, it's doing something here. It's clearly reacting. supposed to go down can I even do that no oh it's right there it's supposed to be out from this one here before me the FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult he'd gone missing presumed dead the cult was leaving me clues to follow connecting the dots from one murder to the next inviting me to Draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. You have discovered your first plot element from an echo. You can rewrite it into reality on the plot board. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together. Write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. So select the FBI agent plot element and activate it with A to rewrite reality into the Caldera Street scene. Liminal place crossing the threshold. Investigation. They caught him. The blood trail led to the darkness of the tunnel. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go.
The Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. I can't tell whose it is. Yeah, I can't tell. <laughs> okay, so we have to go that way. Before I go there, let's check down this way. Yeah, sorry if you're screaming at me about like how to position. I, I was looking for like the black hole and I couldn't see it. It was locked from the other side. You know what this actually reminds me of? Um, the pretty much the first or second technically level of uh, the first Max Payne game because it also starts off in a subway station much like this. How crazy would it be if it actually was also Caldera Station? Okay. No exit. Exit in, at middle of platform. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. This is safe, right? Not ominous at all. Lost? No, I'm not lost. I know where I'm going. Uh, I'd rather stay asleep. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Stop it. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse for some urgent reason. Couldn't, I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. That's pretty much from the first game. Uh, okay, I have to go down there. Let me just see what's over here. Oh, I won't be able to go. Never mind. Find Alice. Scratch. Aww. evidence initiation so just follow the numbers I guess the the evidence numbers. Shit. I don't like the sound of that uh, I don't either I do not like it either. Uh, let's take a moment's respite. Anything in here? No? Nothing at all? No? Alright. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just quick save. Okay. Uh, undiscovered map. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. So I am there. Where am I even going? What's my goal? Search for the cult. Why would I want to search for the cult? So I have to go through there. Means I have to go back there. Which means I possibly have to go through the train. I think I have to go through there. Before I do that, let's see what's back here. Oh, lordy. Oh, I can't. 
can't. That is fine with me. Is that a door? Is that a way? It could not be opened on the side. No? Why not? Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Well, I can't. Because it will not let me. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Okay, so I'm guessing... From here I can open a way to that place over there. Seems like a well-lit area. No? Okay. That's a well-lit area. Another place to use in the story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. Found a new scene. Go to the plot board to rewrite reality into the collapsed tunnel. See, what sucks is when this pops up, I can't do anything. Like, I have to go in there. The new scene I had found was important for the story. Key locations. What happens here? Doorway to the underworld. A single plot element can be used in multiple scenes. Select the FBI agent plot element and activate it with A to rewrite reality in the collapsed tunnel scene. This was where the agent's trail went cold. A ghost. That's actually pretty cool. The scene here had changed. Had it? Yes, it did. Can I do that later? No, it won't happen. Okay. the story and with that the dark place changed thing over there the federal agent had come here looking for answers all he found was a fate worse than death worse than death I know there was a thing there, by the way. Another echo lingered here, a source of inspiration. Fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap, a satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake, their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Sounds like a load of ball hockey. The blood trail disappeared under the rubble. I had a feeling something was waiting there. Okay. Um. I don't know why we couldn't access that thing here. Okay. I'm just gonna double check real quick. If there's any way for me to get this thing over here. 
Okay, yeah, there's there's nothing. Um, let's see what's down this way. Are you a rider on the storm? <laughs> okay, this place is pointless. Yeah, scratch. We got it. Initiation. We got it. Find Alice. We got it. Nothing. Alrighty then. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. Oh, well, these guys are. Oh! Ah! You lied to me. That was, this is the way forward, basically. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Was this as well? Does that look like it? What is over there, even? I miss that. How did I miss that? Word of aid. Okay, increases hand flares area of effect by 13% and duration by one second. Increases effectiveness of trauma pads by 10%. Increases effective painkillers by one second. Um... Guess I'll take this. That's pretty cool. Um, and then let me check out, there was a new plot thing.
right. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. So let's try Caldera. No, I can't. Murder cult. The ritual antechamber to the cult's place of dark power. You can only re rewrite reality in a scene you're currently in. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's what this place is. Cult of the Word. So what happens if I take the light? So I can't I can't cheat the system. Got it. At the old derrick, the wheel had been jammed in in the place and turned into the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was played in the boombox. All distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some pieces of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was any place USA, a place we used as the backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the herald of darkness. Yeah, that sounds uh, somewhat familiar. Lost. No, it wasn't a very good show. Had a lot of potential. Had all the potential in the world. Tim Breaker, in case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. You think this is a dream? So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in the dreams, I'm often someone else, a different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. A D&D &D character. Alternate realities, maybe. Like Doctor Strange. But certain things don't change. Like door. The sketch. Looks the sketch familiar. you have does look like the door I know, the talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me, and he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. Okay, so we know this stuff. What is this place? A dream? Feels like it, not real. No place, every place, all places, any place. Now New York, not NYC. A way to other places, a nexus. Is door the gatekeeper? We're trying to get somewhere, everywhere? Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window. Red-headed woman. So what is this? Hmm. 
lost her. Yeah, I did. Well, technically she lost me, but... Semantics. Oh, nice bed, bro. Alright. Moving on. Sorry, I just I was trying to remember something from um, from uh, where was Ocean View Hotel? That name sounds familiar. Is that like the the Nexus in in Control? Like the the motel? We, that was a motel though. Ocean View was it Ocean View? I don't remember. Anyways. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried to make her bitter. Uh, it wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. I'm guessing Barry. And they'd been there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revol revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch at any cost. Interesting. In this one, Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rules, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. So some of these are labeled W, others are labeled M. Okay, you don't have to keep breathing heavily, bro. Okay, I guess you do. I couldn't aim my gun for some reason. Oh, because... I didn't have my gun equipped. I will admit, I did not see that coming. Even though I should have. Light will show you the way. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, and I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, interesting. Um, I really like the mechanics of this game. Like with Saga, we have like the the, the like the the FBI board, like the you know the ropes and like linking shit. I love that stuff. And now here, you're basically you have like the 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 main the plot line, and you're like changing shit around to like affect your environment, which is really fucking cool. Um, I really like I hope there's a lot more of this kind of stuff. Um, I hope it's not just like a one or two time gimmick. It, it seems really, really cool. I really actually hope you get to play with like more stuff. 
you know, like adding like the FBI agent or like the cult of the word, um, just so you can kind of branch out and see like different things. Um, obviously there's probably only going to be one pathway, but like seeing little Easter eggs here and there kind of thing. I really hope they do that. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.